he's never done TRT, clearly. He doesn't know anything about TRT. He doesn't know anything about dosing. I mean, watch this. And so, I guess a lot of the um, doctors don't quite understand the dosing as well. I actually have um, a client who just started TRT about a month ago. And, you know, a lot of guys talk about they feel like Superman, then they just drop because they're, they're only getting their injections like sometimes once a month, maybe, you know, every two yeah. weeks. And when in reality, they might need it every week. And there's, there's some uh, different talks about how often you should be getting your injections to do that. And so the clinic will probably give it to you maybe more often or it's easier to convince the clinic to let you get your injections more often versus maybe your, your doctor that you're going to. What do you think about that? You know, a logical and uh you know intelligent approach would be let's try to maintain normal blood levels throughout the week you know consistently rather than spike them into dangerous territory and then crash them down into also dangerous territory over and over again so right here what is being said here <laughs> this is the trt and hormone optimization youtube channel and if you want to learn all about the science-based information on this topic consider subscribing hit that notification bell and you'll be on your way. Scott is basically saying, you know, your doctor tells you you got to take it every, you know, every three weeks or every two weeks or every 10 days, you know, maybe you might even need it every week. Yeah. Derek then goes on to say, you know, you want to do it more frequent. Love that. But he says to avoid spiking levels into dangerous territory. Can someone please present me the literature as to what is considered dangerous territory? Because I just go through research all day long, all week long, and I have not seen a single study where any level of testosterone has demonstrated harm. And again, when I'm talking about testosterone levels causing harm, I'm talking strictly testosterone, but Derek keeps going into the AAS world of bodybuilders where they're getting on these huge cycles and it's potentially getting into dangerous territory. You can't compare the two. Why do we keep blurring the lines between bodybuilding cycles of AAS and testosterone replacement therapy? I have not found a single paper that shows if you get to this level, that's dangerous for these reasons that we can demonstrate. There is no literature that talks about this, okay? This is hearsay, it's nonsense. You can't back it up. There's nothing to support your statement. Derek, you should know better than this. I'm disappointed, frankly, okay? Scott talking about, you know, uh, uh, um, dosing, you know, every three weeks, every two, maybe he might even need it every week. If you guys are doing injections and you are injecting on any less of a frequency than every, any week, every week, you are doing it wrong. Okay. Every 10 days, you're not going to be optimal. Every two weeks, every three weeks, you are most definitely not going to be optimal by the bare minimum should be once a week. When I'm talking enanthate and I'm talking cypionate. If you're gonna start talking about undecanate and sustenon and whatever else, there's a different schools of thought. I even think that sustenon should be injected at the minimum once a week. Undecanate is a whole other thing. I don't even think that should be used for TRT, frankly. But with a half-life of roughly a week for enanthate and cypionate, injecting that anything more than two or three weeks it, it, it is crazy, okay? Because you're gonna get a spike and over the course of two or three weeks, you're gonna wait till you're absolutely tanked and then you're gonna spike it again, okay? Now, D Derek is making it sound like you're spiking it into dangerous territory. No, you're not spiking it into dangerous territory. The funny thing is on the damn vial of enanthate, I have enanthate, it says to be injected every two weeks, which is nuts. Even the pharmaceutical companies don't really understand how this works in the body, okay? You don't wanna have a spike and then a down and then a spike and then another crash and on and on. You wanna keep them stable. So if you are taking every week and every day you feel roughly the same, and when I'm saying the same, maybe you feel really good or you don't feel good, but you feel roughly the same, you know that once a week is probably fine. And most guys are probably doing once a week and probably fine. The guys that come into our Facebook group are the ones where they're doing once a week um, and it didn't work, or they're trying this and it didn't work. Those, like the problematic type guys, those are the guys that come into our group saying, hey, I've tried this and it hasn't quite worked for me. The vast majority of guys are actually doing once a week. That's what doctors tend to prescribe. They take their once a week. It always just works. They go on their way. They forget about it. They feel better. And those aren't the guys we see. Now, I always recommend personally, and I'm just, again, based on experience and based on how many guys have come in, just to do twice a week. Twice a week for probably 90% of guys out there will maintain very stable levels. You won't have one big spike on the day and then a crash and so on and so on. 
Uh, I also find that some guys are very sensitive to when their levels are high for a day or two and then the levels dropping. I'm definitely one of those guys. Okay. So yeah, there, there's, there was just so much, the, the whole thing about spiking things into dangerous territory just drives me nuts. If somebody can provide me a single study that says, if you exceed this amount, you're causing harm and can demonstrate it, please send it to me because I haven't found one yet. I keep asking for them. I haven't found one yet. Hey, thanks for watching. And now click on one of these thumbnails to learn a ton more about TRT and hormone optimization.